Thank you everyone for coming to Dale Chanel's 40s World. Where we do on this channel, we read Bible chapters, scriptures, verses, and we discern or ask the Lord for discernment to prepare each Bible chapter and verse to our lives. Okay, that's strictly what we do over here. Unless it's another exciting video I want to tell you about, but it's not like I'm talking about anybody. I'm just basically, you know, just saying forgive people for what they do because they do not know what they are doing half the time okay that's my rationale for doing other videos other than reading and studying in the bible with you okay but we're going to jump right back on into genesis 26 we're going to be talking about isaac and amber leach and uh see what we can discern from this particular chapter in the bible of genesis we're gonna go right on into it chapter 26 verses 1 okay now there was a famine in the land uh whoever don't know what famine is it's a drought of food and water um uh, that's basically all it is um and that's a lot when you don't have it trust and believe okay now there was a famine in the land besides the earlier famine of Abraham's time and Isaac went to Ambalich king of the Philistines in Gerah. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and will give them all these lands and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, um, my commandments, my decrees, and my laws. So Isaac stayed in Gerah. All right. One good thing about being obedient, you can definitely know it's a silver lining down somewhere down the line of your life where you may be affected positively or your descendants so always try to do good stay doing good and reap your benefits here on earth as well as the afterlife okay uh, picking up on verse 7 of chapter 26 when the men of that place asked him about his wife he said she is my sister because he was afraid to say she is my wife he thought the men of this place might kill me on account of Rebecca because uh, she is beautiful and at the time I guess the men of the Philistine they felt that they could take and do whatever they wanted to with any man's wife okay so that's where we are with him lying uh, verse uh, 8 when Isaac had been there a long time Amalich, king of the Philistines, looked down from a window and saw Isaac caressing his wife, Rebekah. So Amalich summons Isaac and said, she is really your wife. Why did you say she is my sister? Isaac answered him, because I thought I might lose my life on account of her. Then Amalich said, what is this you have done to us? One of the men might well have slept with your wife and you would have brought guilt upon us. So Amalich gave orders to all the people, anyone who molests this man or his wife shall surely be put to them. And I'm like, oh my God, he living, and this is just me speaking. He is already living in immoral, immoral type, or around, I should say, immoral type people. Because uh, if sin wasn't so prevalent in the area, why would it be brought up that no one should molest him, him being a man, being a man on a man, um, not giving permission to have sex with one another, in a sense, rape or whatever. Because they always, back in that time, still today, in our century of living, they feel that they can do with women any way they want to do with them in any country any state that's just how the man mentality has gotten <sighs> but getting back to the written word it says so Emily gave orders to all the people anyone who molests 
this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Isaac planted crops in that land, and the same year reaped a hundredfold because of the Lord blessed because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Envied is another word of jealousy. Okay, nothing can come of that. Uh, so all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped stopped up, filling them with earth. Then Amalek said to Isaac, move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar uh, and settled there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father's Abraham, which the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died, and he gave them the same names his father had given them. Isaac's servant dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there, but the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled. Um, quarreled is another word of disagreement, ready to fight at the drop of a dime. Just chaos right now. Okay, uh, picking up on verse 20th of chapter 26. But the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen and said, The water is ours. So he named the well Ethic because they disputed with him. Then they dug another well, but they quarreled over that one also. So he named it Sitna. He moved on from there and dug another well, and no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth saying, Now the Lord has given us room, and we will flourish in the land. From there he went up to Bersheba. Bersheba. That night the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants. For the, for the sake of my servant Abraham, Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord. There he pitched his tent. And there his servants dug a well. Meanwhile, Ambalich had come to him from Gerar with Ahuzah, his personal advisor, and Phil called the commander of his forces. Isaac asked him, why have you come to me since you were hostile to me and sent me away? They answered, we saw clearly that the Lord has, or we saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said, there ought to be a sworn agreement between us, between us and you. Let us make a treaty with you, that you will do us no harm, just as we did not molest you, but always treated you well and sent you away in peace. And now you are blessed by the Lord. Isaac then made a feast for them, and they ate and drank. Early the next morning, the men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way, and they left him in peace. That day, Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. They said, we found water. He called it Sheba, and to this day, the name of the town has been Beersheba. When Esau was 40 years old, or Esau, he married Judith, daughter of Berea, the Hittite, and also Basemate, daughter of Elon, the Hittite. They were a source of grief to Isaac and Rebekah. Okay, that's it for... Um, Isaac and Ambalich, um, the king, fighting with another king, in a sense, Isaac, um, for chapter 26. All right, thank you for coming by, and I'll talk to you soon for another Bible study reading. Thank you. Good night.